hello and welcome again to my channel hi if you're new i'm so glad you found me and if this is not your first time here welcome back today i will be painting this weird fish deep sea scene with my schmincke super granulating colors you will see the names of the colors on the screen in a minute i didn't really plan what i was going to do with them I had this set, I've got it as a Christmas gift, last Christmas, and this is the first time I've actually opened it, so I didn't know what the colours are going to be like. I know that Schmincke paints granulate really, really nicely, but I've not tested the colours, so part of this was I wanted to swatch the paints and I wanted to see how the colors are another reason for this spread is the fact that i was at that point almost at the end of my sketchbook i think after this i've only had one double spread like this and then boom my sketchbook was finished i have the flip through recorded so keep an eye out for that sketchbook flip through i always love watching them i enjoy to see what other people create in the sketchbook so hopefully it will be something that you will enjoy also this was such a easy background to do i started with a, quite a wet paper and then i just added color after color after color and i didn't know where i was going with this as i said i didn't really have a plan but then after I've added those vertical wibbly wobbly lines it reminded me of seaweed and then I decided oh I'll just turn it into this under water um, under the sea scene and I've done this in the past when I painted a background with watercolors and then looking at shapes at what kind of created itself out of the paint and water I started drawing on top of that and you know came up with different shapes and different creatures and as you will see here this will be exactly what's gonna happen and I don't know at some point I was like oh, it just it looks so weird but I like it because this is I felt like this was what my paints told me to create. My paints made me do it, if you know what I mean. So this is me just adding some Posca pens, uh, black and white only, to those shapes that I created with watercolors and at some point i was struggling to come up with an idea for a different line or a different pattern but at the end of the day it was very relaxing i like to do those sort of things when you don't really have to think what you're creating you just make a line and then follow that line with exactly the same one so it's just easy when you want to create something and you don't know what to do i feel like those kinds of spreads are really good for that because you don't have to create anything whatever comes out comes out and then it will make you feel good because at the end of the day you you've opened your sketchbook and you've done something at least this is how i feel there are days when I am not able to paint or draw because I'm busy and I do shift work. So there are times when I get up about 3.30, 3.45 to start work before 5 a.m. And then when I come home, I feel very, very tired. And there are days when I will still open my sketchbook and draw or paint but there are days when I just want to relax. But if you are struggling to fill your sketchbook, maybe, maybe you should do something like this. This is so easy. 
it does not require any brain power it doesn't even require any skill or talent you know i actually don't like when people say oh you are so talented because i don't feel like i am i feel whatever i do currently it came with practice i practice a lot and if you do something a lot of times eventually you will become good at it and i don't even consider myself as good at drawing or good at painting it's just something that i enjoy and some people will look at it and they won't like it but you know i always say that i'm not doing it for other people i'm doing it for myself and i like it and you know when i go back to i don't know last year or even two years before or even longer i can see the difference in my skill level so it's definitely worth to practice and doing a spread like this is it's a practice you know playing with colors playing with different shapes and different media i think it's really good also it helps to you know fill out that sketchbook and like in my case i only had one more spread to do after this one and my sketchbook was done so it makes me really happy when that happens also i'm not sure if you can hear this but i'm struggling with the background music today a little bit it keeps changing the volume so i hope you don't mind i hope that you can look past that and just enjoy my doodles today like i said i've used schminke super granulating paints in deep sea set and i've used some posca markers just the black and the white one and that's it and the sketchbook that i was drawing in is a honeymooner sketchbook I will of course uh, give you all the details in the description box below also there will be some links to Jackson's art where I always buy my supplies and with my link you can get everything 10% cheaper if it's your first purchase and you register account for now thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed my weird fishy doodles and i will see you next time take care bye bye